Peace, everybody. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while, everybody. How y'all doing today? Let's chit chat for a minute. Let's talk for a minute. Give everybody a minute. How's everybody doing? Peace, peace, peace. talk a little bit today I haven't been live in a minute but let's talk a lot been happening let's talk the internet been doing that thing that the internet does right we gotta talk about yay let's talk about yay we gotta talk about yay we, it, it currently with everything that's happening right now can't not talk about it so we gotta talk about yay now, before um, we get all into that or whatever, first, I just want to stay. Let me make my disclaimer that I do not DM for readings, okay? I do not DM for readings. I have no backup pages. This is my one and only page. So, any page that is DMing you saying that it is me, report and block that page because it is not. This is my one and only page my, my one and only page all right so we're gonna talk we're gonna talk about some things we're gonna talk about what's been circulating on this uh this yay drink chance interview we're gonna talk about that you know it's been some very interesting things that's been you know kanye or yay formerly known as Kanye West has always been one of those type of people that is going to say some things that's going to cause some type of uproar. He's going to do something that brings on some type of conversation. He's a polarizing figure in our culture. Right? And Unfortunately, because he says some things that a lot of people can't understand, he's been labeled as crazy. And you know that's how your character is assassinated in today's time. You know, because everything is mental, psychological, spiritual. It's not so much as physical as it is has been in the past. It's more mental. So the assassination of character is always a part of the assassination by discrediting what that person has to say a lot of times by the mental illness route, by labeling somebody crazy. Dave Chappelle told us a long time ago, it's dismissive when you just call somebody crazy. It's just a means of having people to want to discredit what you have to say. As, as it holds no merit because this person is crazy. But is he really crazy? Is he really crazy? I mean, come on now. Is he really crazy? Who, who are we kidding? It really depends on who you're talking to. And a lot of what he is bringing to light, a lot of what he is exposing, is showing that. Now, let me be very, very clear. I'm, I'm the type of person, I always tell the people that you should not seek leadership from individuals just because they are in entertainment. So, let's be clear about that. We're going to be very adult about our conversation today. We're not going to 
We not gonna gaslight. We not gonna play no games. We not gonna dance around. We just gonna be real, right? We just gonna be real. People are people. People are people. People got two sides to them. It's good and it's bad. You're never gonna 100% agree with anybody, and you shouldn't. And you shouldn't seek out thinking people that you want to look up to only have one side because they don't. Because you will find yourself highly disappointed. That's why there's that, you know, you never want to meet your idols. Okay? Because people are people. They are bound to disappoint you. And we don't know what we don't know. That's clearly evident in today's, in looking at our people, looking at our culture. We don't know what we don't know. So, when people say certain things, speaking from places that other people don't know, there's bound to be miscommunication. There's bound to be misunderstanding. And yay is the epitome of that. Because one thing that I notice about him is, and it's not just him, because I, I find this in myself at times. When you deal with frustration, when you get frustrated and trying to verbalize or articulate what you're trying to say and you being misunderstood, a lot of times that frustration can come out of you a lot easier than some love can, right? Because we, we you lose your patience. You know what I'm saying? You lose your patience. So when we look at this interview, though, when you, you have to look at the whole interview in its entirety. Now, granted, like he said, they've already black mirrored him. You've already had people thinking I'm crazy. A lot of people are going to want to immediately already have a conclusion based off of it because of who's saying these things. Let me know that y'all can hear me or if it's any issues in the live. Let me know because cause they might, they might want to play with the live. So let me know. If it's any issues that, you know, if y'all can't hear me or anything at all in the live. Now, if you, but because if you watch that whole interview, it is very clear and very evident that he is not, a hate, it is not coming from a place of hate. And he really speaking a lot of facts. He really telling a lot of truth. He really bringing a lot of things to light. And a lot of the way that the people, the public, and even institutions are responding to him, is continuing to prove his point. Now, one thing about him, in comparison with those who have tried to do that before him, your Ice Cube, you know, your Nick Cannon, he is a billionaire. He does have ownership and financial lanes that a lot of these other people have. And contrary to how we want to view it, that matters. That matters in how much people are willing to speak out. Because a lot of people, livelihoods, is caught up in these relationships in these people that he talking about and a lot of things that we discuss in our culture that we talk about when we are discussing you know the plight of our people by him being in the position he's in he's bringing all that information back to us and telling us how this be going down even in the circles that he's in so it's like no matter even him being who he is, you still have to deal with the same things. Now, if you watch, like I said, if you watch the whole interview, you can't, you, I don't, I don't see how we could be against, I don't see how we could be against Jay. If you really listening to the interview, I really don't see. It. We're going to talk about some of the things, right? So if you haven't seen it, I suggest you look at it because I don't know how long they go. They might not keep that interview up. They might not keep that interview up because I already seen the, the reports where Dory is already apologizing for something that he said. And we're going to let's talk about some of the things he talked about in the interview. So because when he first opens up the interview, he sets the stage or the premise and what it is that he talked about or what it is that he addressing. Because let's remember, they labeled him an anti-Semite, right? So he's been labeled as being hateful or racist towards Jewish people, right? So I'm telling y'all, go watch the interview before they take it down. It's three and a half hours long. Don't watch the clips. Do not watch the clips because they are taken out of context. Watch the whole thing. Go watch the whole thing, right? Now, what he said, and he said, Jewish people has owned the black voice 
and they have owned and run all of entertainment right now a lot of people come now they say this is anti-semite and he highly addressed it because it's no way that i could be anti-semite when i understand that we are those people that they talking about so it take that off the board so when you that's that's one for one that's the importance of our our people having knowledge of self because we really need to know who we are we really have to understand who and what we are every form of most of them original texts where you go back to was talking about you but that's another conversation for a whole another time right so like he said right but you know there's particular specific people that pretty much make everything go he showed it right so it's like now they cancel his shows they taking him off the social media platforms he's not able to say certain things that it lists a certain idea but in the same context none of that is applied to us as black people i want y'all to think about this like he said the clip that i played and that's all the way you have to get two and a half hours into the interview before it even get to that part see that's what i'm saying don't let them play y'all with the little clips and whatnot right um he was like when he was talking about what he broke down the chakras and how that 808 how that programs us how that keeps us at that frequency so he said the most anti-semitic things is said when we are talking about our killing ourselves and fucking each other's women quote unquote in our music that's anti-semite in itself because listen to all the destruction and all the negativity that we directed towards ourselves and it's promoted and these people get paid off of it see it's a lot of things that you can't say that's not you can that, that's not gonna be promoted on those major platforms you understand what i'm saying your stereotype you can't go on any platform and say certain things about certain groups of people without there being repercussion but you can go and say anything you want to say about black people and there's no repercussion for that there's no consequences for that honestly most people are going to make more money that's the whole point of the whole thing that's the point of it that's the point of it is that we have to wear the labels of being these negative stereotypes right but and everybody is getting paid off of it everybody is getting paid off of it he said we have to control our culture he said we should control our culture because it's no guarantee right now that future and all his kids that all future kids ain't gonna have to go back and still work for a jewish dude he said how many people how many jewish people are assigned to a black dude and how many black people are assigned to a jewish dude because he was making the company you really gotta watch the whole thing and he really had a breakthrough on that interview because he said you know at the end of the day it's jealousy See, we know this about Kanye. That's why some people can say, man, Kanye just egotistical. He just about himself. And that may be true. Because it's that competitive nature that creates that passion. And like, damn, I can't even comp compete the same as you. Sometimes, see, that's the thing. That's the thing, right? We want everything to be a picture painted perfect way. But you got to understand, sometimes change comes through change. Matter of fact, it ain't sometimes. Change comes through chaos. Change come through darkness. If you're not willing to confront the dark, how you going to change anything? Think about it. How you going to change anything? He said, all you rappers, all y'all that's so hard, you, all, you can rap about shooting people all day because you can't do anything. That's why they're going to send you at me. He said, that's why they're going to send you at me. He said, if y'all so hard, come kill me. Then if not, sit down and shut the fuck up quote unquote because i'm quoting what he said but that's what he said and you gotta think about it, it's like and it's even down to the boosie the ti and the charleston white thing boy we don't like for nobody to hold us accountable we don't want nobody to say nothing about what we do oh then they anti-black so i can't want better for you if i call you out and because i want better for you i'm anti-black Think about this. See, this is see this the gaslighting. This the programming. This is what we under. He broke it down. He even talked about, he said Patrick Mahomes and he was talking about the Super Bowl. 
Because that was the script. Yo, he gave so... Listen, he gave game. He gave game. And understand, it is not about you ever seeking leadership from entertainers. Right? It's never about that. Because when you do that, you're going to put them on a pedestal. You're going to hold to a certain level of expectation. That's why they flip the reverse psychology on the counseling with y'all. And we go right with it. Because whatever the media says is where the people go. And we don't get there and understand who is controlling what you see. That's what he meant by the Black Lives Matter. Bro, they controlling what you see. It's a narrative for you to follow. And anytime you deviate, anytime you deviate outside of what you are told to think, you will be crucified. There are consequences for that. Oh, we're going to cut your finances. We're going to cut your money off. You know, oh, they're going to threaten us. Or we're going to kill you. Whatever you fear, they're going to use it against you. That's how it go. That's how it go. He broke that down with that whole Petra Mahomes thing. He was like, nah, was like, no, Tom Brady got to get his next one. He said, I can, he said, I can imagine how that conversation went. Said, we know you want to do your thing, but not this time. Showing up pictures of his grandmother, you know. He, listen to me now. Listen to me now. Everything not going to be exactly how you want it to be. But we got to be adults about this thing. See, we got to stop being so elementary in our thinking. And we really got to be adults about this. Because I don't agree with everything Kanye say. No, I don't agree with everything he say. But I can't, I can't lie and tell you, ain't nobody going to step up and say what he's saying. Ain't nobody stepped up and said what he's saying. He doubling down on what he said. He like, no, I know who we are. Y'all not going to keep doing us like this. I want y'all to answer for this. He the only one. Y'all be saying this all the time, but he the only one. He the only one. Now, if now, cause he could take his money, he could dip out. He could he could dip out. The man is a billionaire. He could dip out and be like, y'all figure this shit out. I got my money. I'm gonna get on up out the way. He could. He could do that. I commend him for that. Because he said, yo, they gonna have to kill me. He said. I don't, I don't care what they got. He said they can have me on camera fucking a goat. That's what he said. Yo, he telling you what it is. He telling you what it is. He said none of them can't step up and do it. Now, granted, all of this is always going to be a part of the show. Don't ever get it twisted. Don't ever get it twisted. Because it's all about pulling at your emotional strings. So all of this is for the show. Because, like I said, you see Nori going back and on his apology run. So, I wouldn't be surprised if they t if they take it down. I wouldn't be surprised. Yep, he said, I want your Jewish kids to ask, why are they mad at us? Because, I mean, just, 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 he said, uh, he said, uh, let me see what else he said. He said, they told him. They wanted him to go to the Jewish uh, Holocaust Museum. He said, I want y'all to go to Planned Parenthood. That's our Holocaust. Now, see, what is he alluding to when he pointed out Planned Parenthood and the origin of Planned Parenthood? That's a breadcrumb that you're supposed to follow. Then that's supposed to point you to eugenics. See, because see, what you'll realize is there's certain groups of people that have control over everything that you see, think, and know, or think you know, but you've been institutionalized to know because these very same people is who created your curriculum. These the very same people who told you where you come from through your curriculum. See, that's a whole nother conversation in itself. See, he, now, now that's me talking. That's me talking. Research where your curriculum come from. Research when your curriculum started to change, when they started to use different words, when maps started to change. Look into that. Look into that. Because a lot of things that he say is breadcrumbs. Because nobody can't do that work for you. Because, see, a lot of things he going to say or a lot of things that people are going to say are going to elude you until you do that work yourself and you research it. You're going to have to look for that and make that connection. You're going to have to do that for you. But they breadcrumbs. 
But he going up there, he's saying a whole lot of things, man. A whole lot of things. He said information is a, is a resource. What is a nigga? Ignorant. Yo, he, I mean, it's like, he said, I got love for everybody. But it ain't no love for nobody that's fucking with me. Like, that's just, that's, that's, that's real. That's just being honest. And he talked about handlers. He talked about industry plants. He said this. You know, I got all these different type of people around me. People recording me. And then people can go back and buy the film. Buy these things from off of these people. And frame me a certain way. And this, listen now. Yeah, he said this. Right up. Martha Sanger. As far as your origins. When you're talking about Planned Parenthood. But, and look into eugenics. Look into where all of that is coming from. And you really start to notice. It's like he used the Lego movie analogy. When he was looking at it. Everything was coming from the same company. So when you start to realize that all these things are interconnected, and, and they love to throw that conspiracy thing around because it's a way to gaslight you. Understand that the word conspiracy and the term conspiracy theorists and all that came from the CIA. It's a means to discredit information. That's what it's all there for. But it was, I mean, it was, it was a lot of game, y'all. It was a lot of game. Now, yeah, a lot of us caught on to the Black Lives Matter, you know, as far as what that is. But, see, I said a week ago, I was like, yo, people not going to catch on to the whole White Lives Matter thing. So, he addressed the whole White Lives Matter thing, too. He said he said in so many different ways and meanings. Like, if you really think about Black Lives Matter in itself, and you think about the origins of where it really come from and who really was funding it. So, who was really pushing that whole thing. And then you turn around and you flip that. And you be like, well, damn, let me do the same thing. And you make some white lives matter. It's just like the little girl who, or whatever, who was the kid who made the MAGA hats. And they didn't even support Trump. And they made buku money off of it. Right? But it wasn't just that. It was just different things. But, I mean, like I say, man, I would advise everybody to watch that interview. I would advise everybody to watch that interview. Because, and, and... He gave a great analogy to the reason why it's a lot of things I don't even I don't even really bring up as much that I could that 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 I really could talk about more and I just be like, man, it ain't even no point. But he made a great analogy. He said, if you see a person running the wrong way down the street, you gonna think that person crazy. But if you see a hundred people doing it, you will call it a marathon. And that shit was heavy. Because I was like, damn, he right. Because I, in the back of my mind, I've always thought about that. Like, man, it's going to take a lot of us. It's going to take a, a, number, a great number of us to really do these things that we keep complaining about doing. Yeah, you know, so... And when, what I also realized, too, is communication is everything. And I'm always thinking about this myself because for a long time I was iffy about speaking, you know, my true phone things because when you under articulate, whenever you under articulate, it's it's more holes in what you say. You feel what I'm saying? It's like it's like it can be taken out of context more. You know what I mean? It can be taken out of context more. I'ma definitely save this uh save this live. I'm going to definitely say the lie. Um, but yeah, you know, he spoke on it. He's like, man, I want my people to rise up too. I want my people to do be able to do this too. I don't, I don't want my people to be shooting and killing each other all the time. I don't want us to glorify this. And it, he said, it's that, it's that competitive nature. A lot of that passion came out of that. Uh, he's a competitor. It made sense. That's just understanding and knowing yourself. That's like knowing like people can be genuine you know, and strategic at the same time. So, you know, it's like, it's like, uh, I don't know, man. I, I get a brother a lot of, I get a brother a lot of credit. Because he's willing to stand up and die for it. A lot of people ain't, re ain't ready for that. A lot of people ain't ready for that. He also talked about how Kim and them Kardashians... How they be playing both sides of the fence, which is which is which is expected, which is to be expected, which is what we know. And Kim can do that well, 
with being that Libra, with that Libra energy. But the way he broke down that Pulp Fiction, that whole Pulp Fiction analogy, was phenomenal. Was a was a great analogy. You just have to be able to follow where he's going. Yep, he's a Gemini. Gemini's always be my favorite people, man. I be love. I love y'all Gemini's with y'all crazy sis. But you know, Gemini's show us that we are two people. That's why it always looks like that. That's be the highlight of a Gemini. It's like they this way, but they also this way. It's because that's what they teach us. That's what they reflecting back to us is that we are more than one person. And it's okay that we more than one person. We can be two people. You know, you just have to be in union with both parts of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Nori and Charlemagne. Man, you already know. But see, at the end of the day, that that's Drink Champs is owned by Revolt. All of those are still owned by the same people that he's still talking about. See, that's why I say it's all for the means of the show. See, they can... That's why you can only... That's why you can only look up to people but so much. And you always have to take what you see and see on others' journeys and paths and you have to reflect it back to yourself because you, you can never really truly know. You can never really, you know, you can never really truly know, you know. But um, but for him to be saying all that he's saying, ain't nobody else saying what he's saying. There's nobody else willing to say what he's saying. He doubling down and he's not backing down either. He not backing down either. He's saying for all them other rappers, he said, I have no industry friends. Because at the end of the day, they're not going to step up and they're not going to do it. Even with, even like he said with Hov, I don't know if Hov going to be willing to, to give away these Jewish secrets like that. He said, I don't know if he's going to be willing to do that. So, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Like he said, whenever celebrities do things in the public, it has to do with their va their public value, with something in relation to the public, something that they're doing. So they have to 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 bring it, you know, to the they have they doing. That's what the means of them doing it, you know. So, let's see. but you know, at the end of the day, man, it is what it is. But like I say, man, that whole that's just like with that 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 Boosie and um. That whole T.I. and that whole Charleston thing, man. With Charleston White. I, I, we need what Charleston White is saying. We need it. We need it. You know why? Because he's trying to make them accountable. He checking the he checking the, the members of the community. Don't nobody want to check. Because it's who the youth idolize. The gang members and the drug dealers and the and, and the rappers. That's, 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 we need that. And it's exposing a lot of people true colors, man. It's exposing a lot of truth about a lot of people, yo. And what we have to understand is, we know nobody's perfect. That's the whole point of the matter. Ain't, ain't, none of, ain't nobody perfect. But, yo, when it comes to the way they have us programmed to react to certain things, man, it's like, yo, we be oblivious to our own, man. We be, it's like, bro, how you gonna talk about somebody speaking against Black, Black Lives Matter, bro? Like some of these rappers speaking up. Like, have you heard your music? Like, have you seen what you promote? How can you say that? How can you be mad? But when you don't want to address, when you don't want to address those things, when you don't want to deal with your darkness, them demons get real big to you. Them demons get real big to you, and people start acting out of fear. And when they start acting out of fear, it just really exposes them for what they is. You know, it just really exposes them for what they are because, man, we just we just really let knowledge itself, man. We just really let knowledge itself. We just not we just not we so programmed that we just lack the ability to critically think. Like it's just critical thinking. It's just asking questions. It's just realizing that you can't just accept something because that's what the institution says. Because. There's there's a certain group of people who created the institution. Who are these people? Did they have your ass in mind? Was they trying to make you the best version of yourself? Or were they trying to bring you down and degrade you? Was they trying to take from you? You have to think about these things in that way. And we don't. We don't. We be thinking so rudimentary, man. We be thinking so low. And we just, we be missing it, yo. 
we be missing it. It be just, you know, as far as looking at collectively as the masses, not all of us. There's there are some of us who can see it. There's some of us who can get it. There's some of us, you know, who really have the eye to to see and understand what's happening. But it's just so much. It's just so many of us that's just falling in line because it's the sheep. So, you know, it be frustration. It be frustration for me. So that's why some things I try to, I, I don't talk about as much because I will get really frustrated. And all your frustration is really telling you, though, is what you're passionate about, honestly and truly. So that's how your emotions are really teaching you. So you get frustrated and angry about stuff like this because you're passionate. So you have to be careful, though, because that's a fire element. And I, ain't, I don't want to burn everything down all the time, especially not without cause or solution. So it's like it's a, it takes a great mastering skill to master yourself and be able to tame all that. So, you know, but, but, you know, like I said, I don't agree with yay on everything now, you know, uh, but we have to be open-minded. We have to be able to see and accept the truth. You know what I'm saying? Who is, who is this person right here? But yeah, I would I would advise y'all to look at the interview while you still can though. <clears throat> but this is a cult knowledge though. This is a cult information. Like even when when you read, <laughs> even when you look into you know the information like they tell you, you know everybody's not going to be equipped for this type of knowledge. You know, it's going to be, it's unfortunately, the masses are the masses. It's just going to be people out there. See, that's why I, I always do advise people to study the occult because it's going to give you some peace. If you don't study it, you're not going to have no peace. Because you're going to keep feeling pulled to, like, do, you know, to say to people, you got to balance out your life. You have to balance the life. I'm uh, Jerquan. I'm talking about. We were discussing the the drink champs, the yay interview. Yeah, the drink champs, yay. Yeah, Kanye drink champs. Peace. How you doing? How you doing, sister? I'm good. I was really speaking on the thing that you were saying. You said a lot of people are not awake and they don't understand because a lot of people, I want to put it like this. A lot of people, we are like antennas, right? And God is like the satellite. If your antenna's not getting the frequency, you're not going to be able to tap into it. A lot of people's frequencies are fuzzy. They, they antennas, they can't tap in because it's fuzzy. You get what I'm saying? Right. And yep, I do. A lot of people don't realize our body is like a children. The soul and the soul and the body is two different things. The the soul is what control right. the soul is what control the flesh. The, the, the flesh is like a child. You have to feed it, you have to wash it, you have to treat it like it's a child, you have to raise it just like you're raising a child. But I wasn't expecting you to tap in with me. I just was, you know, just watching. But like I said, a lot of people frequencies are off. They it's it's fuzzy. You ever seen a TV when the antenna you can't get it? It's just fuzzy. Yeah, you can't get the they, picture. They, and you keep trying to adjust it. You trying to pick it yeah. up for a lot. You're right. A lot of people they're not gonna they, and for for some for a lot of us who are in that you know frequency we love and we have so much open love and we want to pull, you know, our people with us so much that you know, 
but it just it be that disconnect it's because disconnect. like you say it's, it's like it's like talking on different frequencies you know what i'm saying it's like we on different channels yeah. it's like if i'm trying to trying to talk I'm to you but i'm on a different frequency try to tap in right exactly yeah. So, you know, absolutely. So, it's always going to be that disconnect. I definitely um, vibe with what you're saying. I appreciate your insight yeah, on I'll that, I was just dropping that. All right, cool. All right. Peace. Appreciate everybody, too, who uh, who bought some badges, who sent some badges. Instagram stayed adding, changing stuff on here. I don't know what they be doing sometimes. You know, it, it's it's weird activity because they won't do nothing about the bots on here. You know, it's like um, I saw a video that was breaking down how um, for the first time they lost users last year in the last quarter and how it's like they it's almost like bots duplicating even regular users accounts. So it's kind of weird. You know, you never really know, man, because sometimes I wonder when it comes to like this algorithm with them putting certain things up, how they'll push some things or some or not, or, you know, certain things do aggra aggravate the algorithm, you know, you can really see that. So, you know, it's all kind of, it's all, it's all a game out here, man. What we got to do is recognize the checkerboard. So it's like, we look at it. We don't understand the It's like we get obsessed and we regurgitate. So, we know and we can recognize the symbolism in the checkerboard, but we have to know what it means. So what it means is that they have you playing a game going back and forth, being on two different sides. It's like a duality. You know, they, they are b bouncing you between two different poles. So you're going here, you're going back and forth, back and forth, not realizing that this shit is all a stage for you. But if you can pull back and you can see the board, then you know the game being played. So you're supposed to pull yourself out of the game. But a lot of us don't realize the, the messaging and the symbology and how it's applied to society. Instead, we just, I don't know, it's like we just regurgitate it in a certain way. And it's like, but we're supposed to take that and we do more with it. Understand so we can escape it. That's why, like, the mental health thing is really kind of like low key. It's a way to kind of inhibit spiritual and psychic people because a lot of people with quote unquote mental illness. Now I'm not saying all, I'm not saying all now, but a lot of people, they have resistance to the programming. So the medications and all that is to, to, to damper their minds so that they can't continue to resist the programming. So when you dealing with, Think about the words they even say it bipolar disorder like and we live in think about it in terms of spirituality because psychology is the study of the soul so they took that and they made it to this superficial thing I always remember everything in this society is a superficial is superficially based on the ancient world so a lot of times when we bring information forward and people be like, you can't apply it in all this. It's because it's information that comes from an ancient world. And what I mean when I say an ancient world, it means that the means of that world doesn't exist anymore. The world isn't run off of that anymore. We See, we live in today's time. It's like understanding um, zeitgeist. You know, we live in a day and time where everything is pretty much based off the Judeo-Christian type of thing, right? So everything is historically based around it so when you go outside of that you pretty much going back to the ancient world because you're going to information that predates what is now constructed as your society because it doesn't fit into what they want you to be programmed with today so when people be like you gotta hack the matrix you have to break the matrix that's the means of the matrix. It's the construct of what everything is built on in today's world. All of this stuff is connected. When they say the Zion is moving and all of that. See, that's why that's why you can utilize, like, when you look at the Hebrew, the, the whole numero numerological system and everything, everything is constructed to fit because that's the society that our minds is, is programmed to be on. We are programmed on this frequency, and the shit is really more lower level than those ancient civilizations because it limits you so that way that you can be mentally inferior, so that you can be a mental slave, so that you can be 
control easily. You see what I'm saying? So when we come with this information that's outside of this paradigm, i.e. they may call it pseudoscience or they may call it occult science or it may be labeled as dealing with something that's crazy. Whatever these type of labels are, because they bring a certain connotation to your perception, when you see or hear these certain things, it determines the way you're going to perceive your reality because that's how your computer going to break down your data. So all this other information, all these other things that they do right in front of your face you can't see it because you don't know how to see it because you're not programmed to see it. It's like he said with the whole Tom Brady and the Patrick Mahomes thing. It put him, he was like, it was on, he said, it's almost bipolarity because I saw Patrick Mahomes throw the Super Bowl because it didn't fit the narrative of what they wanted for Tom Brady. He said, but I love Tom Brady. He said, because he said, but I love Tom Brady, but I'm also programmed to love Tom Brady. Because who's your first superhero? Superman. You feel me? So it's like, it's white supremacy in a sense of what it is. But it's like all of these pieces are here to keep your mind here. So unless you have the ability to be able to see how all these pieces is really just connected. And it's all serving one purpose to keep you here. Then you're never going to get it. You see what I'm saying? That's why I put up the flea analogy post. I was like, it's sabotage. You feel me? Like, it's it's pretty much, yo, this is your setup. You're set up to be this way. Malcolm X told us this. You expecting the bird to fly the same way. He got a broke wing. It's the whole means of how you are constructed. You could jump out of the fucking jar, but you're a programmer. You don't know to jump out of the jar. And then the generations that follow don't know they can get out of the damn jar either. So everybody is just it's an invisible jar. So it's like, well, we can take the jar off now. So it's like, okay, so now that we don't have open racism or open Jim Crow, now that it's more discreet, we can take the jar off now because the program is already there. And look at the way we do each other. We can't call ourselves out. Why are we going to bring ourselves back down in the fucking jar? Because that's how we program to be. You see, because we've accepted the program that we're supposed to be down here. So now we have our own people playing the role of, nah, nigga, you supposed to be down here. And it's and so I remember the I remember when I was a kid, one of the most the best movies I, I watched, it changed my life was when I watched the movie Black Panther. And I remember specifically vividly in that movie when Huey looked at the looked at dude and he said, Why come every time a a brother stands up to get the white man foot off his back it's always another brother that's there to stop him from doing it because yo that is the program that's literally the program so what we saying at this point is like yo how is this program here when you addressing the media you like yo you a part of the fucking problem because you keep pushing the same program we're trying to escape this program. Look, I'm tired of being in this box. You feel me? I'm, it's the same thing when we say, when we look at, when we say, dang, we tired of slave movies. Dang, we tired of game, game movies. Why can't we be magicians? Why we can't be riding around on dragons? You feel me? It's the same thing. Why do we have to be in this box? We not just that. You feel me? So we tired of playing that role. A lot of people, a lot of our people tired of playing that role. We tired of that because contrary to popular belief, we were the first mathematicians. We were the first explorers. We were the first everything. So to me, when they be like the first black such and such, it's always a smack in the face to me. It's always a smack to me because how can you say that? The audacity to say the first black when that's the original blueprint. That's the original blueprint. Like literally, it's the original blueprint. But because we don't know, because it's not a part of the institution, it's not a part of the information, because mind you, there's a group of people that came together that don't look like you that decided what you were going to learn in your school because you decided. Somewhere we decided we wanted them to teach us who we were. And we expected them to do right by us in teaching us who we were. And then we wonder why we're in the position that we are in. That don't sound backwards. That, that, that don't sound backwards to nobody but me. It don't sound backwards to nobody but me. I'm the only one that see this. 
So when it when it comes to stuff like that, I feel you. I feel you. I I feel him, yo. I really feel him because I understand his plight, yo. I understand what he was saying. And it's so unfortunate because we so boxed into our environment. Like, they purposely created our environment the way it is. It's just like Tupac says, like, look, we ain't always just trying to be killers. Sometimes people just trying not to die. That's, that's, a, that's, that's, that's a whole lot to unpack, man. It's a lot to unpack. It's a lot of things. But we're not going to unpack nothing if we always attack the people that want to say, hey, look, we need to look at this right here because this right here is a part of the problem too. You see what I'm saying? We can't always want to get mad and then divert because honestly, that's what they are programming us to do. That's what he's telling you. Like, look, they program, they telling you what to be outraged about. They are telling you, okay, well, you're supposed to be outraged about this. But you know what? This over here is going on all the time. We should be outraged about this shit over here too. But it doesn't get the attention. It doesn't get the same type of energy. Why? It's not pushed by the, by the media. So because it's not pushed by the media, it don't get the same type of attention. Why? Because the sheep are programmed. They jack in, plugged in like the Matrix. And that's what we have to understand. See, that's where I met with it. It's like people are where people where they at. People where they at. People are where they at because it's it's a lot to unpack. It's just a lot. It's just a lot to unpack. 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 You know what I'm saying? So, um, however you want to take it, you know. But um, I ain't gonna hold y'all for too long though. Um, I just. We just had to go live just for a little minute to kind of get, just to kind of, kind of, kind of talk about it a little bit just in where my stance is on it because a lot of people have been asking. So it's, you know. Um, let's see. No, we not the Jews. And, and I, I'm not completely, it's, it's like, I'm not completely with that in the sense of saying we the Jews, but when you saying, but understand the wording of what they're saying, they're saying anti-Semite, it's still not anti-Semitic, yo. Like, it's, man, it's, that's a lot to unpack, yo, because then you're dealing with people, a lot of times you, you're dealing with people and you're dealing with their beliefs, and that's a whole nother conversation, yo. It's a whole different conversation. It's a whole different one. It's 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 a different one, yo, because... That's why I mean when I say we don't know what we don't know, yo. We don't we don't know what we don't know. But one thing I will say about Ye is is um he's always and, and I would say it's it's more of like a people who are big on information, you know, big on knowledge tend to go with what they do know. So, you know, when you and that's and that in a sense is very that's people that's very humbling and I don't use that word very often to the true light in a sense of acknowledging, you know, how much that, that there's so much that we don't know. And in a sense, instead of what we don't know, and what we don't know is levels. There are some people who are at a lower level than others. There's some people who may know things. People haven't quite gotten into that means of along their path. It's a process. It's really a process. Cause I can recall there were times along my journey, along my journey, excuse me, where I didn't always understand where people was coming from. And then later obtaining to, you know, certain, certain types of knowledge. And then it's like, ah, I can, I understand exactly what they meant now. You know, like I get it. And a lot of things, you know, I look at things a, a very different type of way. You know, if you've noticed when I talk about things, I'm all I'm I, I am always trying to be careful with my wording. I am always trying to be careful with my wording because it's like I get it though, you know what I'm saying? It's just like he done said before how we are Moors, and then it's like it really depends on what you know historically speaking. You know what I'm saying? When you look at the Sephardic Jews and Sephardic Moors and, and the, the, the people who came and did colonize in America. See, because school taught us that everybody looked like pilgrims and they was lying because everybody was not looking like no pilgrims. They really lied to us a lot. You have to go. You 
you pretty much got to scrape everything they ever taught you and go back and read those real actual accounts and just scrap what they gave you because what they gave us was just a completely romanticized, idealized version of his story. I mean, that's honestly and truly what it is. It's his story. So your story is the mystery. So you have to go back and discover your true story because it's not in the it's not in the it's not in that. It's that's the role that they want you to play. It's not in that. It is not in that. So I would so I would say that because so that's coming from a different place. That's like understanding the, the you know those those other bloodlines and those other things, you know, because that's why I say look into history as in how did when did your education change? You know, there was a certain point in time they were calling you know, that whole territory in America, they say there was Huguenots there, but you would never see that word anywhere in, like, your primary education after, like, a certain period of time. It's like, why did they make those changes? Why did they do certain things? You know what I'm saying? Like, how? Why? it's, 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 it's a lot, yo. You got to look at old maps and everything. They tell you Columbus was looking for India, but, yo, India was not India then. It was Hindustan. So, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. And you have to you have to weed through it. You have to weed through it. Cause contrary to popular belief, we are not all the same. We are not a monolith. We are not all one story. It that ain't it. That's not it. Do your own research. Research your own lineage. You better listen to your grandparents. You better talk to your family. You better see what was real and not what them people have programmed you to think that which you are. Because I promise it is not the picture that they painted for you. You understand what I'm saying? So in saying that, there are some things I ain't going to really touch on because of that. You know, we'll leave that for another place in time where we specifically speaking on those types of things. But I would advise everybody to do that. Do your own research because them folks is lying. Them folks is lying about history. The history books is some complete and utter make-believe. It's his story. So... It's up to you to look up your history, you know. It's up to you to really know that, you know what I'm saying. So, um, I I would say that, and when you get to certain certain things, certain uh places of information, you are gonna get outside of the group. And when you take on, you can't unknow what you know. It's like you can't unsee what you're saying. So once you find certain information, and you find your, you gonna find yourself outside the group. And the people are gonna look at you crazy because you outside the group and you you thinking different. You have a different narrative, you have a different perception, and they have to they have to crucify you for that because you're supposed to be in the group. You can't be outside of the group. It's supposed to be a line, you're here. Now look at how hard we go on our on each other when we deviate outside the group. Even if we don't agree, we don't always have to agree with each other. You know what I'm saying? We don't always have to really agree, but we don't have to tear each other down for having different frames of thought because we might need that frame of thought. We might need that perception to understand things. But because we are not dealing with our trauma, because we don't do no shadow work, because we avoid ourselves, because we want to act like everything somebody else issue, right? Because we don't do that in our own life every day, we can't do it as a collective. So if we don't, we can't do it every day as individuals. We are not gonna do it as a collective. So to collect, understand, people, groups of people, cultures, ethnicities, even countries, they have collective shadows. There's collect, there's a collective shadow about the American. You go to other countries, there's a certain perception about an American being from America. It ain't about you being black or you being white or you being this. It's a certain perception about that. So understand that. They're depending on certain things. Even when it comes to hip hop, man, there's a there's a heavy shadow when it comes to our culture that we call hip hop. There's a lot of things we need to address in it. There's a lot of oppression that we do to ourselves in there. Why? Because we are mimicking the damn slave owners who run what is supposed to be our culture. So that's what all all of these things, man. All of these things are just interconnected. It's socially engineered. And it's going to take everybody because it's going to take people from different expertise in different things, different experiences to be able to, to translate it, to be able to make it for everybody. It's just like when Ice Cube did what he did, people was, our people were so emotionally caught up in the Trump hate train that we couldn't see 
what was really transpiring. It's like, damn, can we be adults? Are we adults? It's like, it's frustrating. It, it's frustrating. I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all, it's frustrating. Yo. That's why I be staying away from them topics because it is so frustrating. I would get so fired up. And I just be like, I'm just trying to be on the internet to inspire people. I don't really want to get on here and be spazzing out. So I just try and lead it to inspire. I try to lead my energy online to inspire people. That's why I don't really want to talk about people to bring them down. I won't make my name off talking about people. I just try to inspire people. But it, but we have to be real with ourselves. If there's things that we say we really want, let me, let me, if black lives really matter, then we have to really act like that. And it's not, and I hate to say it. And that's, yo, that's the so frustrating. I hate to say that because then you start to sound like the people you don't want to be like, yo. And I get what he was saying in the interview, like, yo, when did I become like them? I don't want to sound like them. You feel me? You even hate to even be like, damn, that's a strong point. But I don't want to say it and sound like that. But it's real. It's honest. Because both things can be true. Both things can be true. So, but it's it's our people push us so much in that narrative, yo. And we don't get that we be driving our own self-destruction and they'd be like yo can we just wake up and see the truth can we just wake up and see the truth but it's hard you know what i'm saying but it's hard but anyway but anyway we're gonna do this live thing again another time i'm gonna get back more consistent with y'all i haven't been um going live as much i will honestly admit that i haven't been but it's been a busy time for me y'all know we got four kids right and we be homeschooling them Y'all, it'd be a lot sometimes, right? <laughs> it'd be a lot sometimes. So, you know, but in the meantime, um, you know, it just is what it is, you know. But don't expect people to always say things in the best way, to always do things in the best way or the way that you would do it. But that's kind of the point, though. You know what I'm saying? It just might be, it's that, that's just kind of the way it is. You got to. You eat the meat and you spit out the bones. You don't got to throw away. You don't throw the baby out with the bath water. You see what I'm saying? So we have to, it's balanced. That's how I know we don't be working on ourselves because it's not, it's just, man, it's common sense, man. Y'all know common sense was saying as a psychic ability back in the days. Did y'all know that? Because people can't, can't think common, can't, can't think common sense. They can't process common sense and common sense ain't nothing but critical thinking. It's like, well, damn, why? Well, why are you saying that? You know, just the means of, well, hmm, you know, we don't we do not do that. We just be accepting what they give us. And it's like, we got to do more work than that. We got to do more work than that. We don't want to have that conversation about a lot of Blacks being native to Americas. That's a very, very triggering conversation for a lot of people, man. But, hey, like I say, hey, we can't get everything out in one session. You can't get everything out in one session. You can't get it all out in one session. But again, it's just about that's the mind. See, that's the men. That's the that's the control. It's not even about it being. I think it's more about being outside of the group think. Because if you think that and if you view it that way, then you're not gonna align with most black quote unquote black people. Okay, you're not gonna align with what most black people are saying or what they are pushing for what they are you know or what influences them so therefore you're not plugged in you're not accepting the program so anybody whether no matter what it is when you're not accepting the program you're gonna get a lot of pushback from your people and that's why i always start to say well like when everybody starts saying something then and you know we gotta we gotta kind of look at where it's coming from we got to kind of look at where it's coming from. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. It's like, it's like some things apply at sometimes and sometimes they don't. You know what I'm saying? It's like people act like when you acknowledge uh, origins in the Americas, like it dismiss, uh, like it dismiss Africa. And it's like, it don't have to mean that, yo. Just, just like he said, white lives matter don't mean black lives don't matter. Just like what people say, black lives matter don't mean white lives don't matter. When people saying all lives matter, yo, it's like, why you even feel the need to want to push back on this particular thought this way? It's like, well, I mean, it's not to say that, that some don't come from there or some of our heritage don't come from there. It doesn't mean it. But you want me to completely, totally, and utterly skip over everything that was done to us here while we are here in this land where technically we have ownership rights to what's here? You want me to gloss over all of that just because, like, that doesn't make sense either. 
that doesn't make sense either. So it's like doing it either way don't don't make sense. So I thought we was for the betterment of our people. How are we for the betterment of our people when we still keep splitting? See, it's it's all about it's all about division, man. It's all about dividing, yo. But like I said, it's all about doing your own research. When people do that, when you really do that research, when you really do that research, you just have to do the research. The people that's just listening to respond to it to just say no because it's not what they know then they're gonna be they're gonna they're gonna feel how they feel about it they're gonna be they're gonna stand where they stand on it you feel me but until they're ready to break out of it and actually explore and look okay well you know this this you know actually look at real 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 resources you can read these accounts and read these things here you can read the descriptions of these people you can see and make correlations but it's all about what people are are ready to deal with everybody's not ready to deal with it you feel what i'm saying i see me personally i'm not caught up in that argument between if we did so if we did i don't i really don't see a point in it in 2022 because obviously i don't know i just feel like at the end of the day i gotta be connected to both of them so i'm not gonna diss either one so to me i don't have a dog in the fight when it comes to it I, it just look crazy to me me personally, it just look crazy to me. I can't have that type of argument with people. Whatever you want to be is whatever you want to be. That's for you. Because I can't tell nobody who they are. Just like nobody can tell me who I am. Because I did my diligence and I researched and I seen my lens like, damn, this is really real. This is really what it is. So what somebody got to say about me don't really matter because I know me. So those, and I feel like a lot of those arguments are um are purposely like, made to happen that way like i feel like it's specific personality types or you know little video game program personalities that go in and cause that type of disruption you know between the people y'all's got to kind of be be careful about that when it comes to that but it's just that's just me man that's that's just me that's just me i don't want to argue about none of them things i i really don't i love both sides of them so that's that's just how i see it um but anyway i'm gonna save the live i'm gonna post the live y'all check out the link in my bio um i got the store the merch is coming along i did when i went ahead and launched it so i'm gonna I'm a post it for y'all but um you can check out the link in my bio if you want support you know you can buy a book we got two books that we wrote you can get the ebook you can buy the paperback copy the hardback copy off of amazon uh we got the membership where we just put out all the information where we talk about all type of occult topics for people who really want to learn about the occult about all those types of things so that's in place for people if you want an energy report if you have an energy report you haven't received it shoot me an email not a dm i don't really answer dms as much so shoot me an email please so i can get that to you um i booked the one i have one-on-one -on -one sessions i do have some time that's available you can book through my the link that's in the bio it will take it will allow you to book a time and a slot Again, I do not DM for any readings or uh, have any backup pages. So any pages claiming to be me that's doing that is not me. That's some type of scammer pretending behind the screen. So please don't fall for it. Uh, the name of the book, we have A Guide to Inner Peace. It's a book on numerology. And we have A Guide to Self Mastery. It's all about alchemy and shadow work. So that's the two books um and like i said the store the store is now available it's now launched it's called the cosmic shop but it's in the link in my bio so when you click on the, the link all of the in you click any button there and it'll take you you know to what it says there but in the meantime um if you need to contact me please do so via email so i can um you know respond in a more uh you know, I can't guarantee that I reply to a DM. So shoot me an email. And, you know, until next time, um, I guess until next time, y'all. But y'all be good and stay dangerous out here because, you know, as long as we awake and we aware and we know who and what we are, we always going to be dangerous to this system. So with that being said, peace. <laughs>